that. Look at that. What do you think about it? So uh, thank you for joining. So uh, we're going to kick off today this session about uh, how to manage your social channel with uh, the safe of mind that uh, you will have a legal proof whenever that uh, you will require. As you keep your communications through the digital channel, you let your customers just uh, play with the omni-channel but selecting which is the, the right uh, way to communicate with you. In this case, today we're going to focus on, uh, on WhatsApp as a channel to be connected, but with the objective just to generate a legally binding proof of whatever that has been exchanged with your customers. So, so uh, what does WhatsApp offer to business? So uh, the three main reasons why business are now jumping into WhatsApp is, uh, first of all, it's uh, the right channel for uh, uh, what the customers are looking for. Every single customer has a WhatsApp application, mainly in Europe. So uh, this is convenient. This is straightforward. It's just uh, the channel that they are using. The second one is that uh, business are using WhatsApp in order just to, well, uh, automate how the digital channel is part of the engagement, the digital engagement. With that in mind, they are able just to extrapolate what they are already doing in other uh, channels, like uh, whenever they use the email. So, uh, and with that, they can just uh, also create a process that can be just part of their engagement tool. And finally, it is easier for customers just to uh, integrate, uh, well, chatbots, uh, the existing internal CRMs, but also any customer support software that they will have in place. So with that in mind, in, there's always ups and downs. Whenever you jump in one of those technologies, it's great, it is very convenient. Now, uh, be careful, they will only tell. So uh, more if you are just uh, more focused on the regulatory uh, industries or regulated industries, in those scenarios, what happens is that uh, you need just to be very cautious of uh, just accepting that uh, the communications that in a very convenient way is being just uh, selected by the customers as the channel will be also legally binding. So uh, scenarios as the one that you see here uh, could just become a big headache for any regulated industry. Things like, uh, be careful if you just sign a contract or if the customer is requesting you just to uh, approve on uh, the, uh, the purchase of uh, some stocks actions, or even if they want just to change the terms and conditions and they feel like it's more convenient just to use WhatsApp. Well, it's great. It is the, the choice for the customer. It's very convenient, but uh, you might be ending in a big trouble. In this case, I have just selected four of the biggest ones that had just big, a big impact for them. Now, you know, just to avoid that to happen, what I'm going to do is just to show you what uh, Jada has done, okay? So, you know, just to let you play with your WhatsApp channel, but uh, in the meantime, uh, using uh, the proof that uh, Jada can just give you. Okay, let me see if I can just uh, put this. Okay, so bear with me. Oh, okay. There we are. So uh, here I'm using just my, my chatbot. Okay, I'm gonna uh, interact with a chatbot that could be a chatbot of uh, any financial institution. And I will start and kick off the chat saying hi. So the chatbot is going to answer to me, yep. So in order just to make this journey more convenient, it's going to ask me, I mean, what is your name? So I can just make it uh, personalized. So with that, it's just becoming part of a natural journey. Now, the chatbot is just offering me two options. In this case, uh, I'm going to select the sign a uh, digital contract. Five minutes ago, I was just sitting here with a big pharmaceutical company that was just looking forward just to have this level of interaction with their customers, just uh, accepting the terms and conditions, or even just accepting just to be part of a proof with a new medical. So. I just sent uh, a click, you know, just to like that uh, I want just to sign the contract. Everything is in WhatsApp. So it's still uh, part of the natural user experience that you had just chosen. Okay, now the first thing that it, we are going to do, because and it just could be legally binding, is that I'm going to send you a link and I'm going to get you out of WhatsApp. That is relevant because as soon as I just get you out of WhatsApp for this specific uh, action, 
means that I'm able just to trace what is going to be the user experience and I will be able just to just generate a legal proof of that transaction. So in this case, uh, the chat body just uh, sending me to a click uh, so I can just uh, get the contract. And if we still just think about that pharmaceutical company, uh, well, I mean, means that uh, I will get access to the consent in order just to be part of this uh, new uh, proof of a new medical. So I'm able just to check how is this contract that is being presented by the company and I can just sign, okay? The next thing is that uh, everything will be just uh, legally proved. So I'm going to get a uh, code. Eventually it should be just coming and I'll let me just cross check if that is the case. So, and the code is here with me. I will copy this code. And with that, I will be able just to sign the contract. So pretty straightforward. So if you remember what I have done, all the user experience was done and kick off via the WhatsApp chat, okay? So uh, the customer has just sent me a link, identify who am I, get the email. I was uh, able just to get on that email a contract for terms and conditions. I click on that contract and when I click on the contract, Jada is going to set up timestamp and generate a legal proof. What does it mean? that legal proof that I'm just talking. Though this means that uh, with that proof in Jada as an e-notary is just signing and accepting that uh, this it's a legally binding agreement, no matter if it was just beginning through the WhatsApp channel or which any channel that was selected. Okay, so it's just telling me that in a second I will receive the email with uh, the terms and conditions. If I just go, I will get this contract that I signed Oh, sorry, that was not it. Okay. Let me see if I'm able just to get... There we are. So this is the contract that I just signed. Okay, with all the terms and conditions. Okay. And what is more relevant? Timestamps and legally binding for any challenge that could be just happening. Now, this that sounds like a very straightforward approach. It can be just uh, automated and integrated with... Uh, third parties uh, processes. So, and this is what is in the background, you know, just to manage this process of automation. So uh, what we have here is that uh, we are able just to uh, check and let me see if I'm able just to see it. There we are. Okay. So I will be able just to find what is this contract that was sent. Okay. And I'm able just to trace as part of the back office of the system that we provide to our customers uh, that uh, if you see, well, I sent a message with a contract and uh, it was just uh, delivered. Uh, we have the data delivery. When was the expiry date? It was a simple uh, signature process. And I can even just trace what's, uh, what, how all this process was uh, flowing. Okay. In this case, let me just put this a little bit smaller. So you can see all the flow. Okay. So if you see, I can just trace all what has happened uh, in the background. And finally, I'm able just to get all the different uh, um, documents that has been just signed and also get the proof. Okay. This legal proof is the one that would be legally binding. Okay. It's just been downloaded now. I will get this and it will be uniquely identified. We will identify how was the access, when was sent, when was received, and it will be including all the documents that were part of the attachments. In this case, it was a, a demo contract that is now signed with the terms and conditions. And what is imp most important, the delivery date, the OTP message that was accepted by me that you have seen on the process and digitally signed, okay? So uh, we have not changed the user experience from the point of view of uh, the choice from the customer. And we have just given the choice for the uh, company just to select what is the channel. I'm gonna do another demo that uh, you will get on your site after this uh, session, you know, just to so how powerful is this? Okay, may I ask you just to get your mobile phones 
and take a picture. Okay. Let's do it. A picture. Yeah. Picture of me, whoever. Okay. Brilliant. So the next thing that I want you to do is just to select the picture. Okay. And insert the picture on an email. Okay. So you take that picture, select the picture on an email. Okay. And then send that email to my email address. The next one is when we are going to make some magic, okay? Because uh, you will see how easy it is to generate a legal proof that you were in this event and not just having a beer outside uh, the event. Okay, how are you doing? Brilliant? Okay, the next one is the most important one. So now you, you have an email that you're going to send to me with a picture that proves that you were here, okay? And now we are going to ask Jada to be this legal uh, notary in the cloud. So for doing that, you need just to CC Jada on that email address. So click demo and register. Okay, what we are doing is that uh, you are on one side, I'm on the other one, and I'm going to ask Jada to be in the middle in order just to certify that the transaction has happened. Okay, when that happens, you send this one and what the flow is that uh, you as the sender is just sending me the picture as a proof but i'm it's just copying data that acts as a internet notary so a digital witness and it's able just to generate that document that you have seen and if you do that you will receive that specific document that will be legally binding in any court in the european union Correct. So, uh, scenarios, things that uh, we have seen customers uh, implementing this solution. So, for cancellations of uh, policies and uh, inceptions, register online transactions, debt restructuring or online contracting. Okay? So, all those scenarios are just uh, on a regular basis just used by customers. And all that is just uh, used and, and implemented because uh, we are a qualified AIDAS provider, so that is that we are an e-notary service in the cloud uh, by, I mean, authorized by the European Union, certified, and we operate in uh, multiple areas in, uh, in Europe and definitely in Latin America. The beauty here is that uh, this is a pretty straightforward uh, solution, software as a service. Uh, you only need just to accept that this is an OPEX model. You pay as you use it. And if uh, you don't use it, you don't need to pay. Uh, no CapEx investments. And, uh, and it's uh, fully uh, reliable. And it is live and kicking right now in uh, more than 17 countries.